Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's weather in five, five days and five minutes as we uh, get set for what's going to be really a summer day here with uh, temperatures that are going to climb up to the mid and upper 80s. And we are going to see uh, sunshine. And I think we're probably going to get away with not uh, having much in the way of shower or thunderstorm activity to deal with during the day today. Uh, we have this uh, cold front that is setting up to our north, and I don't think that front's going to really drop through here until uh, overnight and tomorrow morning, and it may take all day tomorrow for that front uh, to get uh, far enough south so that uh, we can get out of this uh, very warm and humid air mass. That has really been the story throughout uh, much of the uh, uh, areas across uh, Kentucky and uh, into West Virginia and Southern Virginia down into uh, the, all of the southeast. It's been uh, days, uh, day after day of temperatures in the low to mid 90s. Fortunately, that, uh, that hot air is not really getting uh, in here. So as we uh, take a look at the full U.S. satellite view, uh, it's pretty clear that uh, the eastern part of the United States, a large part of the eastern United States, has this upper high that's built in. And uh, that is uh, just been heating things up in the northern part of the jet stream, which has been just sort of vacillating back and forth is in one of these stages where it's pulled up a little bit to the north. And now we're going to have a, a weak weather system move on through to bring the jet down and flatten this ridge out uh, a little bit. We also want to make a note of uh, some uh, disturbed weather that has uh, been sitting uh, north of the Dominican Republic. Uh, and just east of the Bahamas for the last couple of days. And during the overnight, uh, we have seen uh, showers and thunderstorms increase a little bit more. Uh, gradually, this is going to wind up moving to the west and heading into the northeastern Gulf of Mexico over the next several days. And I think once it gets into the Florida Straits and then points north and westward from there, uh, we could see this system develop. The Hurricane Center has this rated as a 60% chance for tropical storm development. But uh, obviously, it's not any impact to the area from northeastern Virginia uh, to southern New England. So we're in good shape. We've got uh, nice uh, sunny skies for much of today. Not a whole lot happening on the radar. Uh, we have some showers and, and some storms uh, on up uh, through uh, uh, the middle Hudson Valley and extending over into New England. Those are moving southeastward and they're going to weaken. I'm not uh, expecting uh, very much today uh, from the, again, from respect to a shower or thunderstorm threat. I think we'll wait till uh, after sunset tonight to see what we have to deal with. High temperatures, uh, we're going to be in the low 90s across Maryland and northeastern Virginia, upper 80s to around 90 south central and southeastern Pennsylvania. And maybe even a few of the hot spots in New Jersey could see temperatures up around the 90 degree mark. But as you start to go further north and east, the temperatures tail off just a little bit. Highs will be mostly in the middle. And I think we could push it up a degree or two higher that there will be a few upper 80s. This time of year, the amount of sun that you get is really important in determining how how much how high the temperatures can get. Uh, any kind of cloud cover um, is going to cut back on the heating. And also remember, we are almost to the point now where uh, we only have uh, we have a shrinking amount of daylight uh, every day. It's still over 12 hours, but not much over 12 hours, as opposed to the height of the summertime where you have about 16 hours of daylight from sun from uh, sunrise to sunset so that makes a huge uh, difference so let's uh, take a look at where we're going here over the next five days so we do have this cold front that is going to be coming through uh, this is uh, for tomorrow morning having a draw just kind of sitting on top of us it's going to be another one of these fronts that will eventually make its way further south but uh, it's going to take its time so that opens the door for some showers and storms popping up during the day tomorrow uh, back, backtracking to today, you can see there's very little that forms during this evening as that front nears. And then tomorrow, uh, perhaps uh, some uh, showers and storms around. Uh, actually, we could see them scattered around tomorrow morning into the afternoon. And then finally, the front does drop southward so that on Friday, we are back into an onshore flow, which means that temperatures will likely be in the 70s and the onshore flow extends all the way down into northeast Virginia. So that should cool things off considerably. 
Uh, but it's back the other way. Uh, the high goes out into the uh, into Nova Scotia. It kind of looks just like what we went through uh, yesterday uh, and the day before. Uh, so the high moves offshore. We get the onshore flow uh, into Saturday, starts to relax. Winds bend around to the south. And uh, Saturday could be a day like it was yesterday, where we have uh, clouds and some breaks of sun and temperatures eventually getting up into the 80s in the warm spots and 70s as you go further north. There's a weak front that approaches Saturday evening. We could see uh, a scattered shower or storm with that. And then afterwards, uh, that front also has a little bit of a time getting through here. It does get through here for Sunday, and then weather conditions improve. All right, got to wrap it up. Uh, we got somebody at my door. Have a good day, everybody. Uh, we'll have a regular live stream tonight at 7 o'clock.